So what song are you singing tonight? Are you sure you want to go with that one? Because I don't know if they're, they're going to like it. What do you think? No? No? You're, you switch it up? All right. Okay. I can see that one. That would be a good one. You ready to go? You ready to go? All right. Let's do it. You're shy now. You're going to be shy now in front of them. Come on. You've been practicing this one all week. All right. I guess. I guess. You want me to sing it? I can sing it. Which one are we singing again? You want to do that one? Just kidding, guys. We know that Frank is way more better looking than me, but way more better you're looking. Still, you're stuck with me. Is that how you say it? Way more better looking. Way more better looking. It's <laughs> gonna be late on a Wednesday night if we're saying it's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night, y'all. What? It's Wednesday night. What? That means we're late. What are we doing? Late. We're never late. You guys are late. I late. have time for everything. Guys, it's time for Holland Fun Vlog! Holland Vlogging! That's right, guys. It's Wednesday night. It's New Comic Book Day. It's the show that we show off all the books that we picked up on New Comic Book Day, which is May 26, 2021. Almost the end of May already. Almost wow. the end of just May. New Year's Eve, like yesterday. I remember it. If you guys are new to the channel, because there's a lot of new people always tuning into this channel. There's like five subscribers today. What? I know it's insane. We're getting closer and closer to that sweet, sweet 1K mark. Thank you guys all so much for the support. You're legends in our eyes. It's mainly mine. Mainly Bruce's. But guys, yeah, it's a Wednesday. It's our Thursday show a video that we drop every single week. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you should be. Duh. Subscribe yourself. Don't hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button first. Hit the, if you hit the like button first, the bell for notifications gets jealous and then it sends you more notifications. And so you want to hit the like button first. <laughs> it's the smart thing to do. So hit the like button. It likes it when it gets hit. It's a, it's a little bit of a um, masochist. Yeah, it's a little, little, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> and then yeah, hit the bell for notifications because we go, like I said, we post videos every Tuesday, every Thursday, and we go live every single Friday on Comics and Beer. And what's this Friday? It's our end of the month giveaway. What? It's like a huge deal, guys. We give away a slab. What? And some other prizes. What? We win prizes every what? 15 minutes. 15 minutes! You just have to show up and answer trivia questions, which trivia answering trivia questions is just fun anyway. So even if you don't win, you're like, that was just a good time. It was. It's always a good time. We drink some craft beers. We gotta do things. And guys, we already have a special guest lined up for the week after that. I know a guest on the show in the house. I don't even know about this. Who's thinking gonna be the special guest? Don't worry. It's gonna be I'm amazing! It's my own channel and I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Guys, we also do a giveaway every single haul and vlog, and all you need to do is a couple things. Stephanie's gonna tell you all about them. You need to like this video. Okay. But I mean, really like it. Don't just like pretend you like it because you're trying to sleep with it. Like, really I like mean, it. You probably wanna sleep with it. It's sexy. But like it. It's sexy. Like it. And then comment on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel Obviously. so you can continue to get amazing content in your eyeballs and around your face. Yes, and your ears too. Don't get the ears. Maybe your ears. Cause the sweet tones will always come to your ears. <laughs> I don't know if I call that sweet tones. Oh, it's so sweet tones. Sweet tones, Max Washington songs is like, oh, bro, hit the notes. But guys, yes, let's haul and vlog. Let's dive in to the books that we picked up on New Comic Day. But you already just like forgot all about the giveaway that we're doing tonight. Oh, I should show them the books before we go any further? Well, I mean, that would make sense. Oh. That's the order that we do things. And you know how Bruce loves his continuity. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, so guys, last week we set a new mark. If you guys want those extra books, we gotta get this view, um, the view count up over 150. We did not hit that mark. So we're back down to three books this week. And disappointed guys, I'm disappointed. There were three new number ones that came out this week, indie-wise, so I picked those up. I got Made in Korea, number one. This is about a firstborn human baby uh, in a very long time. And it's about like growing up with a bunch of androids. Hmm. Hmm. Next up, we have Red Shift, number one. This is by Scout Comics. This one was by Image Comics. And then we have The Blue Flame, a superhero book by Vault Comics. I believe it's their first superhero book. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So those are the books that we're giving away. And now we're gonna go over the books that we picked up this week. We every, every single week we do DC, Marvel. And indies, guys. 
Indies, the most important pile of your life. Oh, you're not gonna say Indiana Jones? I can't put the hat on your head. No, I wasn't gonna set that up for you, Bruce. I was gonna say something else funny, but then I'm like, that's just making editing too easy for Bruce. I like to just make a bunch of mistakes. So I used to spend like three hours editing it. And then I'm like, I didn't like my hair in that <laughs> shot. Oh, I wanna change my shirt and do the whole thing over again. No. All right, so first book up is a reprint, is uh, Nightwing number 79. And the rest of the books are just new this week. So we have Action Comics number 1031, Detective Comics number 1000, or yeah, 1036. This is the first appearance of the second Lady Clayface. Um, next up is Harley Quinn number three. This is um, uh, drawn by the amazing uh, Riley Russomo. I absolutely love this series so far. It's a great series. Um, and then we have Robin number two. This is the second appearance of Flatline. The first issue was really good, so I'm excited to read that. Is she and, a zombie? Um, we don't know much about her. We've only met her very briefly in the last issue. And she's she got did... a backpack that's shaped like a coffin with a heart on it. She's so emo. She's got a heart in her clear backpack that's shaped like a coffin. It looks like she also had horns that she cut off. Well, she's super badass, I can tell you that, because she kicked, she kicked the crap out of Robin. And Robin's supposed to be one of the best hand-to-hand -hand, uh, combatants in the world. Um, the last book for DC is Teen Titans Academy number three. Again, I read issue one, I gotta read issue two, and issue three now. That was DC, on to Marvel! We got Beta Ray Bill number three. This continues to be a great series. I am caught up in this series, and I really, really enjoy this. Next up, we have Black Widow number seven. This is spec, this is the first appearance of something or other. Uh, I think it's a villain, Apogee. Is, is, is how it pronounced or something like that. But uh, Kelly Towns has been absolutely crushing on this book. And next up, I get uh, X-Men number 20. This is the, again, if you're specking, this is the return of Nimrod, um, the mutant killing sentinel. Uh, I get cover A and I get cover B because I think this cover B cover is just amazing. It shows Mystique with her head on a copier and obviously Mystique can change shape and it's like the pages spitting out are all different people. And I thought that, that was actually a pretty cool idea. Yeah, it's a really cool cover. Cool cover indeed. And again, this is uh, I what- approve. You guys can have that one. You can have that one. Uh, next up, we have uh, Indies, and we got a couple reprints to start off the pile with. Uh, we have The Many Deaths of Lila Star, number one, uh, second print. Uh, we have Stake, number one, the second print. Can this I say this book looks like it's a total ripoff of The Joker. It looks like The Joker, and then like Harley Quinn, and it just looks like a ripoff. It's actually a really good book. I, I like that book a lot. Um, Ascender, this is Jeff Lemire and Dustin Gwynn. It's such a great book. I can't wait to read it. It's been on hiatus for a little while, but it's back. Um, I think it's wrapping up in issue 20 or something like that. Um, next up, we have Shadow Service number eight. Another good book. I really enjoy that. This is the one where she's like a witch. Yes, but she doesn't know how she got her powers and she's really, really powerful. Um, Shadecraft number three. This has been decent. The first issue wasn't great. The second issue definitely set up a lot more stuff and it was much more interesting. Um, I love this cover of Department of Truth number nine. Continues to be a solid book. I believe I'm also caught up on that. Um, Spawn at number 318. I am two issues being caught up. I was 12 issues behind and I only have two left. I read a ton of Spawn over the last few days. That's cover B or A, and this is A or B, who knows. Um, who knows and who cares? This is the most important one. Well, now we're gonna do this one first. And then we have Last Ronin at number three. Uh, issue two was really good, so I'm, I'm excited to see where issue three takes us. And the last book that we have up is the biggest book of the week, hands down. No book is bigger than this. Something is Killing the Children, number 16. We have cover A. And of course I had to get the cover B so that way I can get it slabbed and put it next to the other one for issue number one. I'm disappointed in this cover. First of all, I know it's like the Jenny Frizen cover so everyone loses their marbles over that. It looks like Miley Cyrus. That's what that picture looks like. Who is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be Erica Slaughter? Because it doesn't look anything like her. It looks like when Miley Cyrus did the Wrecking Ball video and shaved part of her head, the, and that's where The funny thing is, Stephanie knows what the second arc is all about. So it was her as a child. I don't care. 
I don't care that it's her coming of age story. It doesn't fucking look anything like her. Erica Slaughter's got fucking facial reconstructive surgery. That's what the book is gonna be about. Um, hello. It's about her as a child. She, she hasn't gone like through the nope. terror in hells of living the life of Erica Slaughter, the monster hunter. What are you even talking about? It looks exactly like First of all, what she's supposed to she look like. She does live through that when she's a child. They show you. In this is before it's happening. This is as it's happening. Bruce Morrow. The first is issue shows you as it's I happening. I have a twenty-something-year-old child. This is not a five-year-old, seven-year-old child, as they describe in the previous issues of Something mm. is Killing the Children, where she has her own monster that they'd have to have defeat, kills her whole family, and then she goes with the monster hunters, and she becomes one of them. Don't flex on me with my Erica Slaughter knowledge. All right, all right. So that was the biggest book of the week. We haven't read it yet. Um, Stephanie had a softball game this year at the coach. They won, just so you guys know. No big deal, best team ever. Um, and yeah, so, and yeah, I just haven't had a chance. I've been busy. I was building uh, Mario Legos, which is really funny because they have like, it's a little computerized thing with little scanners. It's really cool with the dumb Legos. At least now it makes sense to pay $100 for Legos. Back in the day when they just showed you $100 for plastic blocks and you're like, you don't have to change the mold that many times that Lego should cost this much. They're just different colors. It's the same mold. I know about how much molds cost. It's baloney. <laughs> but we're going to do the giveaway. Now it comes with QR codes and now you can scan like your little pieces and they do things and make sounds and it's a little bit more Okay, let's do the giveaway. Also, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the giveaway. All right, guys, so we're going to spin the wheel. We're going to see who won. All you had to do was like the video, be subscribed, comment on last week's video, and you get automatically entered. If you guys are international, you can pay for shipping yourself. We're not paying for shipping these books to you. If you want to pay for it, you will obviously ship these books to you. You can uh, AOK -okay them to someone in the States. You can roll these books over to next week, or we can send you uh, $12, which is the monetary value of these books. Buy a demo, PayPal, or whatever other service you would like. Here you go, Bruce. I'm gonna get behind your butt. Sorry, that was a long spiel to do this. Oh, my legs are so sore. All right, guys, the next winner on Hall of Vlog, the last one of May, is going to be, it's a long one. You Who say, is it? You say that every time, and then you like, the wheel keeps spinning. Low budget comics and things. Low budget comics and things. I like this guy. He always has nice things to say about me, so I appreciate <laughs> that. She appreciates that. <laughs> so low budget comics and things, you, you got uh, Made in Korea number one, uh, red shift number one and the blue flame number one. All these number ones. One day when you're a millionaire, please remember us. Please remember like us. Twenty dollars. Because I didn't buy any of these for myself, so. Why not? Why not? I don't know. I would just. I was looking for something different to give that away this month or this week, and I thought new new number one. So you ones. know what's gonna happen? One of these books is gonna blow up, and Bruce is gonna be like, I didn't buy any for us, and then I'm gonna have to marry you, Lost in what, what, low budget comics yeah. and things. Oh, so you're only marrying me for my comics now that yes. are worth money. Exactly. Got it. Got it. <laughs> um, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another Hoden vlogging on a Wednesday night or a Thursday morning or night or Friday. I don't know when you're watching this goddamn thing. Who knows? Six months from now, there are people still watching videos from six months ago, so sure. it might be six months from now. But really, really appreciate every each and every single one of you guys. We were up to like almost six or 930 subscribers. We're only like 70 something away. It's just bananas how close we're getting. You guys are legends. It was a good night. I can't wait for uh, comics and beer uh, Friday night. And it's a three-day weekend. Giveaway, weekend. Memorial Super Day weekend. About that. It's gonna be Excited a good time. To have an extra day. You know, like one day is always like chores. One day is like cleaning. And then you're like, oh, I wish I had one more day in the weekend. And this weekend we get it. And what am I gonna do with my extra day? This week we get that extra day. Who knows what we're gonna do with it? I don't know. Do you know? I am not sing speaking. Come on, sing to the people. Yeah. Them what they want, they want your sweet, sweet tunes. No, I'm holding back. You only get it sometimes. If you get it all the time, you won't appreciate it. They always appreciate our tunes. I disagree. All right, it would guys. get old and it would get weird. No, not like. Yes. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.